this was kind of a, a missed opportunity. Um, just big game, big opponent, crowd, and, and to have a performance. The way yeah, you I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, it, it's obviously a missed opportunity, but you know, they're a good basketball team, and you know, we're just right now we're just a little beat up and a little tired. So, you know, they came in, they played well, they were aggressive, um, and we were just a little bit defensive and. Uh, when you know we we just got off to another bad start and it just kind of took the wind out of our sails. Mick just came in here and said that he doesn't think UCLA is that much better than Maryland, or as this game would suggest. Um, do do you agree? Do you think there was just an emotional gassedness um, to the game? No, I mean I th I think I think UCLA is pretty darn good. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know they're, they're they have guys that have played in Final Four. They have guys that played in Pac Pac twelve championships. I, I'm proud of this team. We're, we're eight and three. We're in a good spot. I'm, I'm really, you know, is it is it that bigger? Yeah. I mean, I think they've been there four years and they kind of know what they are and what they're at. And right now, we're going through. This is the first time this team's had to go through adversity, and we're figuring it out a little bit on the fly. And we didn't figure it out very well, <laughs> very well tonight. Uh, coach, uh, uh, what updates could you provide on Julian Reese? I know you missed the second half. So Juju got elbowed early in the game on a rebound on his right shoulder and he tr he tried to bow through it, but he was, we were playing with four against five. And then at halftime, the trainer said it's probably just best to take him out. And so I don't think it's anything serious, but it was more cautionary than anything else. Kevin, defensively, their activity in the passing lanes and just everything that they wound up against you guys, uh, how, how tough was that? Yes. No, I mean, I think, you know, that, again, that's something that we're really going to work on this week. Um, Tennessee's length and athleticism bothered us. Um, and, again, their their length and, you know, Tiger and, and Vasquez are, are two guys that just really understand how to how to play the, play the game defensively. They're so smart. Um, they read the ball so well. Um, I think that's, you know, and I said, I said it, I think I said it yesterday. I'm not even sure. But their difference between where they are defensively now to where they were when I watched them in Vegas is night and day. They just seem like uh, Bailey and Clark are two unbelievably. They're athletic. They're long. Um, but Jack, uh, you know th those those three seniors just really understand what they're doing and, and really anchor that defense. Yeah, he's. Uh, I, I see why firsthand why he's going to be a first round pick. Um, you know, I know he doesn't shoot it great, but man, he he really is. Um, he's for for a young kid, he's really smart and understands the game. And uh, I love his athleticism. He's got a great motor, and again, he kind of knows who he is, which is really nice. Like he doesn't try to do too much. He's in there. He plays defense. Gets out on the break. Uh, gets offensive rebounds. He's he's a he's a fun guy to watch. Having now kind of completed this brutal stretch of games, how do you, over the next eight days, what does the process look like for kind of getting this team reset for the rest of the season? We're, we're going to take some time off. Um, we're going to get – I think we, we're almost going to have four days where these guys are – A, they can focus on their studies, and B, they can kind of just get some rest. Because we, we have not really had a day off uh, since before Louisville. You know, because we've traveled in the 9 p.m. games, getting back at 5 a.m., that's really not a day off, even though it is a day off for those guys. It's not. Um, it hasn't been on the weekend. It's been during a school day, so they've had to wake up and go to school. Um, you know, I think I think Sunday they're off. Sunday is going to be their first real off day and since before Louisville. So, um, we're I, I'm not, again, like I said, I, lo I love this team. You know, this doesn't change anything. You know, every once in a while you get your ass kicked. It's part of life. And they'll bounce back. They've bounced back so far. We've played good basketball. We'll get back to playing good basketball. It's having a little adversity right now. And you mentioned Sunday you weren't pleased with the physicality after the Tennessee game. Did you notice that trend continue tonight against UCLA, or were there other things that come to mind? No, I, I think you got to give UCLA credit. They, they, just, they just kicked our ass. I don't think we had a chance to really be physical. Um, I think by the time we wanted to be physical, we were probably down 25. So 
just this is more about I think UCLA came in and they they played much better than us. Um, I know some of it might have been in uh, garbage time, but did you like the confidence that you saw from Ian Martinez scoring the ball today? Yeah, yeah, Ian's. You know, again, it, him him getting more minutes um, probably will will be the norm going forward. He's you know again, he, I think one of the reasons is you know we've been struggling a little bit defensively too um, to start games. So um, he's been practicing great. You know, it was good to see Ike out there because he's been practicing. Good to see Noah out there. You know, I thought I thought those guys all played played pretty hard. Hey, coach, we've seen the uh, the team have a little. Bit have a slow start the last two games or so. What do they have to do to try to change that and get off to better starts? Yeah, I, I just, um, you know, I'm hoping a couple days rest and, you know, three or four days rest will will help that, you know, to be honest with you. Um, we've played some really good teams, too, that have come out. I mean, what you know, Tennessee, they, they struggled offensively against us. Wisconsin struggled offensively against us. So it's – not just us playing, we've been playing pretty good. This was the first time all season that we just didn't have a lot of energy on the defensive end and they took advantage of it. Uh, is UCLA the most offensively talented team you face this year? No, I still think Illinois. Um, I would say UCLA has, has the most talent I've seen by far. I mean, one, two, three. They, have, they literally have five. They could have five first or second round draft picks on on their start five, so they're definitely the most talented. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm a fan of Illinois for some reason. I don't know. I just I love my man Hawkins. He just I'm a big fan of his. But I mean, my man 24 tonight. He he he's fun to watch. Um, I'm sure we could pick out a lot of moments, but in the first half after the under 12, when they go and get the steal and score, and then you call a timeout. 30 seconds later and come back out, get our steal and score. Um, is that kind of def deflating? Like, what's going through your mind? What, what, what was said in the timeout and as a coach? Obviously nothing good. Um, no, I mean, I again, like, I this this is the first time, and really this game was the first time we, had, we faced bad adversity. Even Tennessee, I thought, was more or less um, – I loved our effort the whole Tennessee game. Even in the first half, we were struggling. Um, but they were just beating us on – they weren't beating us. This was the first time I, I, I saw these guys, um, how they reacted to adversity. I think that was the biggest thing. I was trying to kind of figure out what buttons to push with certain guys because I haven't had to do that yet, and I haven't had to see guys who struggled. We haven't struggled like this. Um, so really, you're tr I was trying to kind of get guys to be a little bit more upbeat, but it's hard when you're not playing well, and this is the first time you haven't played well in front of a sold-out crowd, and you're all pumped up, and you come out and you, you lay an egg. It's tough. Coach, what were they doing with their full-court full court press early that was tripping you guys up? I don't think their press really – it was more their half-court defense. I thought their pick-and-roll defense was excellent. They really jumped Jameer. Um, and again, you know, Jameer – has been playing ph phenomenal. Um, but I thought their hard hedges and I thought Tiger and their weak side coverage really bothered Jameer. We didn't turn it over against their press. We turned, you know, we got three good open looks. That it kind of, it was kind of a kiss of death. We got three open looks against the press that we missed and that kind of deflated us. But I thought their, their pick and roll defense on Jameer, especially early, was fantastic. Hey, Kevin. Um, you mentioned how, you know, everybody's talked about the schedule and how tough this part of it is. You mentioned how difficult it's been. Is there something to it to having something like this early in the season when when you get into Big Ten play, you're potentially going to see a couple of, if not three, ranked opponents in a row from time yeah, to time? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think this is it's it's good for you. And again, I, I getting a beat down every once, every once in a while is not the worst thing. Um, it's not, you know, especially early on. Um, it It's – the, the five games in a row that we've played were, were difficult just because of just the timing. Like, we, we've we never had – like, I wouldn't mind playing five games in a row like this if we had a, a four- or five-game game break or we're home. Like, they, you know, they played – Mick Smart, he went to Vegas, and then he came home and he played two bops. You know, he got to play – he got to play his whole bench against Denver. 
Like Tiger didn't even play. Um, like that's a that's an advantage. And that's kind of, you know, I've talked about, you know, next year when we have the two league games, you can't come back and play these games. It's it's it, you can't you can't. It's just not not this time of year. Um so, but I do think it's good. I do. You know, um I think I think we have to adjust to nine what we're doing for nine PM games. I think we've struggled a little bit with the nine PM and and coming back. We haven't played. I think that's it's not an excuse. I just think we have to I have to do a little bit different what we're doing with walkthrough and what we're doing, but it's not a bad thing. And this team will bounce back. I got a lot of confidence in these guys. I, I like where we're at. We're still in a great spot. They kicked our ass today. Give them credit. Thank you.